Hey right, there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Good Friday to you. This will be later than you're seeing this in Good Friday, so, but it'll be close enough. <laughs> but happy Good Friday. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. I always say that and I always mean it. But, uh, got some errands you got to run today and got a doctor's appointment. It's going to be kind of a vlog type deal, <coughs> I guess. Because tomorrow we'll be getting together as a family and uh, doing kind of our Easter deal or really, as I like to say, the Resurrection Sunday. Get to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. So we'll be doing that. And I got to come back and I got to do uh, deviled eggs and uh, cornbread. That was what I was down for to do because we always talk together about what the menu will be so that was my part of it for some reason i always get deviled eggs probably because they don't want to peel them probably so <laughs> so they'll let john do it no i don't mind it i like cooking anyway so it's all fun to me so i've got <coughs> cornbread and that to make i'll probably show some short clips of that getting it ready and then show food and stuff the next day probably won't show anybody but it'll just be my plate and the food and stuff but that's what we got planned so that's what this video will be just today and tomorrow and everything else but i hope y'all having a good one and good uh Easter and stuff, maybe Lord willing you can be with your family and just fellowship and enjoy time together because that's always a blessing in itself. But anyways, I'll jump on into some errands and stuff and then I'll probably see y'all in the kitchen when I'm whipping on some eggs or whatever else. But anyways, see y'all in a little bit.
take a break from cooking all this stuff. Go get a pizza. Sitting here beside me smelling delicious. So that's what I'll be doing here in a second. Chewing on some pizza. So might see y'all when I get back to the house. I don't know. Just depends on what I'm doing. Alright. See y'all. Smells so good. I wish I could eat it now, but I'm stuck. Waiting on traffic. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all too. That was a free pizza, so bonus. Woohoo! What it was they goofed up on our order the last time, so they offered a free one or 20% off like your next order. So I was just like, well, might as well get a free one. So <laughs> good old free pizza. So see y'all when I might be eating it or whatever else. So see y'all. Hey there everybody, next next day, ready to go to the good old party, party time with the good family, just celebrate time together, and then Easter of course as well, it's really Resurrection Sunday, get the food packed up there, so I'm going to jump in the truck and roll on out and get the party in, I'll probably just show the food and that'll probably be it, and then wrap it up when I get back home. So I'll see y'all with probably some food next. So see y'all. saw the all the food that we had we had fried chicken and biscuits and the cornbread that i made the deviled eggs that i made and then we had white beans or navy beans great northern beans one of the beans but i ain't made a bean i don't like. <laughs> I like i like them all they're all good to me um we had green beans um Pineapple casserole, squash casserole. Then we had the fruits like strawberries, uh, pineapple, um, grapes. And then we had the fruit dip that went with it. I'm trying to think what else. Ham, of course. Um, coleslaw. Then we had desserts. We had the coconut cake, 
the apple, or not apple, <laughs> uh, peanut butter pie. Um, then we had like sugar cookies for the kids that they could decorate with uh, some M&Ms. And then my sister had done the uh, coconut flakes, dyed it green so they could top on them and make their own little cookie. And then my other sister had bought the kids a huge uh, hollow bunny. I should have should have took a picture of it or video of it, but I forgot. But that was fun to see them get to see that and enjoy that. And then, of course, they ran around the yard and hunted eggs. <laughs> there was eggs everywhere in the yard. We always used just the plastic fake eggs. You use the real ones, you, you gotta make sure you find them all or they get to stinking on, <laughs> on you. I know uh, as kids, us four growing up, my two sisters and a brother, we used to hide, um, find eggs and stuff at Easter and we used to have some real ones too. And of course, you know, <laughs> if you watch my channel for a while, my man, my brother used to get in rock battles, acorn battles, or just about whatever you throw at each other. So one Easter we got in a egg battle, so we were chunking eggs at each other. And uh, I started running out of ammunition, so I picked up a rock and chunked at him. We did have it on video of me chunking and I whacked him. Oh, uh, sorry. Brother, I'm an idiot and shouldn't have thrown a rock at you. But it's funny now to look back at it. <laughs> Stupid stuff you do as a kid. Uh, but it was a great time, as always. Uh, great time with family, blessing for sure to be with them because there's been uh, times where I, I couldn't be with them um, before because. I was so sick, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you know my story of what all I went through. I mean, I didn't know I was even in this world for about two months. I was so sick, so sick, so losing two months is a pretty good chunk of time, really, and you, you just don't know you're here. So time is a blessing for sure, and I, I sure do cherish it. And I, Learned that lesson a long time ago, of being able to cherish time and enjoy time with your family. So I always enjoy that. And my, <laughs> I guess I could tell this story too. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know my story of me wanting to be on time and be punctual for stuff. I tell a bit and. It was a long time ago on the channel. It was a uh, warning, be prepared, I think was the title of it. But I'm the youngest of four, the youngster of four. And uh, you know, you all have your own different personalities as siblings. And my two older sisters, um, the oldest, oldest. Um, she's kind of like the mother hen and protector of the group, making sure everyone's safe and doing good. And I know as a kid, she used to, because we had a two-story playhouse, she would run out there and like beat off all the walls to get them out so we could play in it and not get stung to death. But she would get stung in the process. And uh, we had a big dog too um, that, he was sweet, he just played a little rough because he was just so big with us and she would always kind of keep him off of us before we could get in the playhouse. And then my other sister, she's kind of like a grandma of the group, always want to make sure you're okay and fed all the time. You got her all to eat and then she's making you want to eat again or offering something. And then my brother, he's kind of the just funny, never met a stranger type. And with me, I'm kind of just laid back and take it as it is. And 
I took it a little bit too far as a kid and when it came to getting ready for stuff. So I would always be the one lagging around doing my own little thing like an idiot. And I would make us <laughs> late for stuff like church or going to school. And uh, one, uh, one time getting ready for something and Mom's hollering at me, John Richard Lindley, you, you better get ready. <laughs> yeah, and of course, I couldn't find my shoes. He's like, if you don't find your shoes, I'm going to tear you up. And you know you're in trouble when your whole name gets used. <laughs> and, of course, the protector of the boot group came along, my older sister, and she had me find them so I wouldn't get beat. But shoot, I needed it for acting like a fool and <laughs> not getting ready. And... I guess that was the straw that broke this camel's back right there. Because the ne next morning rolls around and I'm doing my own little thing again of not getting ready and playing around with my toys or whatever else. And Mom only said, uh, John, get ready. Only She only said it one time, but I should have picked up on it, but you're a little kid and stupid and don't think, <laughs> or I didn't at least, and kept doing my own little thing, and then it rolled around, and then I was finally like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and get ready now on my own time. <laughs> so I started looking around, my form, yeah, looking around in my drawers for something to wear, and looking and looking, and don't see anything in them, so I was like, well, Look in the closet, so I'm looking around, looking around, and I don't see anything in it either. So I was thinking, what in the world? And then it's, hey, it's time to go. So all the other ones are heading towards the van, the old blue Astro van, <laughs> was what it was. Uh, and I'm like, I, I, I can't go and I don't have nothing to wear. And mom's like, I don't care. You're getting that car right now. I was like, I don't have nothing. You're getting that car. So uh, I'm going to the car, squalling. I ain't got nothing on. I'm naked. And there's different, two, two different types of naked. You can have buck naked, then you have naked. Buck naked is when you ain't got nothing on. But naked, you can at least have some socks on. So. <laughs> I'm going to the blue Astro van, squalling a little chubby kid with just tube socks and underwear, whitey tidies where I'm squalling. And I'm getting in the van, I'm in the back, and we're riding to school. And you think like a million things would be running through your mind, but unfortunately they really couldn't because we live so close to school. Um, that not many things could run through your mind. So only two real things could run through my mind. One, it was uh, obvious of, hey, I don't have on any clothes. What in the world am I gonna do? What are my friends are gonna say? They're gonna laugh at me. Uh, what are my teachers gonna think and say to me? Um, and then the other one was a very kid thing. You know, your mind's not developed to think of through things well. So the second really thing I was thinking was, John, where are you gonna put your lunch money? Because you, <laughs> you only got two real options, your whitey tidies or your tube socks. <laughs> that's all you got. And uh, then we pulled up to school because that's, how, that's how, how close we live to the school. And uh, all my other siblings are getting out, and, and it's all, oh, I love you, sweetie. Have a good day. Love you, sweetie. Have a good day. Love you, sweetie. Can have a good day. John Richard, you get out of this car right now. And I'm like, I can't have my, I'm naked. I ain't got no clothes on. And uh, he's like, I don't care. I told you, get ready. Be prepared. Be on time. And I'm still squalling, trying to. Soak up the tears as much as I can, and I get right to the 
I think I had a sliding door, I'm pretty sure. A sliding door and all of a sudden I feel something hit me. <laughs> and uh, I looked down and it's in my clothes. <laughs> so what it was, my mom had hit all my clothes for me. <laughs> so I wouldn't have anything to wear. <laughs> in order to make the point of, hey, you better be prepared, you better be on time for things. Instead of fiddle farting and dilly dallying around. So, I threw on my clothes right fast, sucked up some tears, and learned the lesson. I think I had my shirt on backwards the whole day, but I didn't, I didn't care. Was, thank God, at least I was covered up. Man. <laughs> but uh, next morning, rolled around. Uh, John was ready. John was prepared. He wasn't about to get uh, caught with his pants down, literally. <laughs> because his dumb little self wouldn't get ready and be prepared. But <laughs> oh, it's a good story to look back on and laugh on and tragic during, during the time of it, but now it's hilarious and good lesson learned of, hey, be prepared, be ready, and be on time for things. <laughs> but it's a good time again today with family, being with them, blessing of being with them, and then the course of what you're being able to get together to celebrate of the resurrection of Jesus, of course, of that victory over death, something that we as believers thank God for, because if we didn't have that victory over death through Jesus, we would be, we would be lost for sure. We wouldn't have a way out because the way it was set up before, there was no way to be perfect to keep the law, but thank God Jesus did and we have a way out through him, of belief through him and following him and following the steps necessary to be able to be with him to believe him and confessing that he is he is Lord and that uh, you're going to turn from the ways of your life of old that you may have been living in and then baptism of full immersion in water of that Re recreation also of us doing our death, burial, and resurrection just as he did. We're dying to our old self, being buried in the water, and then rising up as a new child in Christ. And it's a great thing for sure that we can have that salvation through him and through his sacrifice. And it's it's mm, it's a blessing to have because without it we would be would be lost. And if you're not a believer, I wish you would consider it and think about it, maybe. Because it's a great reward in the end. You may not have it now. <laughs> you may not have it now with the things that may come up in life that trials and stuff that you face because I can, I can tell you I've, I've faced them and probably will still face them more but hey I, I still have I still have victory coming in the end so I have that to look forward to and I pray you will too because I will love to be there with you because your soul is just as valuable as any and the angels rejoice over one that responds. So just consider it, think about it, look into it if you haven't. You may think I'm crazy for thinking the way I do, but hey, that's fine. I still love you. Because I would be a turd if I didn't love you, if you didn't believe exactly the way that I do. So. I love you, and if I didn't, I wouldn't 
try to share with you a little bit of my faith and what I believe and what you should what you should look into or consider anyway but anyways I thank y'all so much for watching I really do appreciate it love it love getting to talk to y'all in the comments this has been a really fun experience doing some YouTube I know I ain't famous but I I'm not looking for fame I'm just looking for sharing food with folks and getting to talk to them and enjoy conversations and hopefully maybe being a inspiration through some stuff that's happened in my life and hopefully be maybe a ear or something if someone needs to talk to uh, I'll be there Lord willing to help in whichever way that I can because I love you and care for you so thank y'all so much for watching again y'all please like share and subscribe if you want to or if you haven't already and when you do hey you're part of the good old head to tail family and we love you and welcome you on in so I'll catch y'all on the next one.